Hello, Menno here again. Uh, it is oof, four o'clock in the morning here in the studio in California. No other place I'd rather be. And uh, I want to take a moment to break down the concept of COS Pro Hyper EQ uh, so that it's easy to not overthink it, okay? Because it really is the most efficient way to deal with sound, and it's a very easy way to deal with sound as well once you understand the, the concept and, and principle behind it. Okay, that said, huge nerd, huge nerd. Uh, I love quantum mechanics, astrophysics. I love knowledge, all right? I love the analyzation of knowledge, the connections of knowledge, nerd. Um, COS Pro was born out of the concept of the infinity principle. And what that states is if you want to analyze or understand a complicated shape, or in this instance, a complicated curve, you first break it down into an infinite amount of simpler parts and analyze those. And then uh, putting those infinite analyzed parts back together into an analyzed whole, it's a lot easier to deal with this complicated curve rather than if you just tried to analyze this complicated curve uh, directly from the beginning. All right, nerd. That's the infinity principle. And that's basically the concept. That is the concept behind COS Pro. So I'll... I'll, I'll Kind of show you what I'm talking about. Here we have a complicated curve. This is our Tom uh, bus, and here's our Toms, right? Uh, and we want to deal with that. Well, on a traditional analyzer, you would just you want to look at it against noise. It's noise. You want to balance it against noise. So here we have seven five, all right. And we call it a ceiling because if we're if you're over uh, over seven five here or over here, you're out of balance. So as long as you're like right now. You know, we would want to drop this down a smidge right here. But that's why we call them ceilings, because this is noise, and you would check it there. You stay in balance with noise. All right? If you wanted to check, say, this section here on a traditional uh, spectrum analyzer, you would bring up, like, 18, and then you would check it there, right? So we're dealing with this complicated curve in a sing in, you know, with single noise ceilings, noise slopes. Well, applying the infinity principle, um, we are going to break this down into not infinite smaller parts, but 15 of them. And here we go. So we've broken this complicated curve down into an, uh, 15 simpler parts. And those parts that we're using are noise. This is noise. And each section of this is noise. This little section right here is brown noise. This little section of right here is white noise. And you can see what we're talking about because that is the shape. Each one of these is a straight line of noise, a straight slope ceiling of noise, but there's your curve. So we've basically applied this nerdy infinite principle you know, concept to the equalization process and it made it very, very easy. So now, even though you have these, like these are your, we've broken this complicated curve into sections, you really only have to deal with the overall. Because remember, okay, we bring back 7.5 here. Let's bring it all the way up. You really just have to deal with your balance here. Like these are toms, right? So seven minus 7.5 is basically every tom you're going to play, whether it's a, a little six-inch tom the the relationship between the the tone of the tom and the snap of the stick hitting it which is up here is going to be in balance with minus seven five and then you can deal with things in between here like you can remember this was minus 18 so you could check that or or you could just kind of experiment as well but it's always going to sound good because each section is noise but you're in balance with seven five if you had a big 22 inch you know boom tom you're still just going to use minus seven five as your overall. You're going to have the tone, the big tone of the tom down here, and you're going to have the snap of the of the hit of the tom up here. You know, and th this will move a little bit. This will move a little bit, but minus seven five for all your toms, your kick drums minus seven five, your basses minus seven five. If you want them a little brighter. Like say for toms, if you wanted more of a like this kind of real bright sort of you know rocky tom, you could move to to brown noise. Um, 
You know, you could just simply go, okay, to brown noise. And then you would go, all right, well, I want to deal with this, bring this up, you know, and then just go boop. And now you're going to be in, in balance with brown noise and it's going to be a lot brighter, but it's very easy to deal with, but you're still really just dealing with a handful of overall ceilings. Um, this just makes it much easier to deal with the rest of it by just sitting by simply hitting conform and that drives your EQ process, right? So let's put this back to uh, boop and just go boop and we're right back where we were. You can't move that quick on any other EQ <clears throat> and be in balance. So, you know, it's very, very, it's, it's a lot easier to deal with, um, to use a hyper EQ, use COS Pro, when you remember that you're only really dealing with the overall, okay? Uh, guitars are going to tend to always follow pink noise or minus 4.5. Uh, in, in my video, videos where I have uh, vocals, you know, your, your chest and your, your throat are going to be white noise or 1.5 or minus 1.5. That's going to basically always be that relationship for the most part. And then from your throat all the way up to your nose, it's going to be minus 4.5 brown, <clears throat> or you could even use pink like for backgrounds. And then from your nose up to your air, you're going to follow 4.5 brown or pink. You're always going to be right within that range of maybe about, you know, five, five overall noise ceilings. But the rest of it, you're just, it's very easy to deal with. Okay. Now, um, so that's basically the concept of COS Pro. Um, let me bring up something else here. Since we're kind of talking about guides and all that, let me solo a snare drum here because I want to show you one other thing. All right, loop it. Bring this over. Okay. So here's our complicated curve, right? Our snare. And as you can see on this, I believe we're using brown. Okay. Now, let me freeze this and stop it. Now, let's say that, um, that this was too dark. Like here, this is kind of a rock. You know, I wanted like a, a sort of a fat, a full, beefy sort of a rock snare. But let's say that that was, that was too full for this. You wanted something brighter. Well, if you went to minus 4.5 and you, you adjusted this, now you could either do it manually or you could say, okay, I want to do this. And let's go up here. All right. Let's say that that was now your snare. All right. And say, but you know, I like that, but that's too bright. Okay. Let's zero, change our uh, empty preset. Okay. So let's say that brown was too dark. Okay. So brown noise here, that's going to be too dark. And minus 4.5 was too bright. So you remember if we bring this up, that's going to be too much high end, too bright. So what do you do when there's no in between? Because if you look, there's brown and minus 4.5, there's no in between. Well, elbow points come into play here. And so what that is, let me just get rid of these. So here's our, our regular. So let's put an elbow point here and you only have to deal with a couple of them. Because remember what numbers rule the universe? three and five, just like with Monolith, COS Pro, everything. They rule everything, three and five. So in COS Pro, your elbow points are going to be 300, 500, and then the, the other number that comes into play is one. Uh, there, is, there is an absence of one within the universe, making the universe itself the only true singular. So one. Okay, so 100, 300, 500, 1K, if you need higher than that, 3K, 5K, and then 10K is just one with four zeros. But most, most often, you're going to use 300, 500, and 1K. So let's go to 300. And let's put this to brown. Brown. And then there we go. So now what we do is we'll go over here, and we'll just do this manually. We'll grab from 1K. 
it will bring that up. And then maybe kind of smooth that out. All right. And so there's our elbow point. So now if we, if we bring up brown, you can see, let's move this out of the way. You can see that we have more high end than, we, than brown noise. And we have more, high, more low end than 4.5. We have now used an elbow point. And there's only a handful, three, five, well, 100, but primarily 300, 500, 1K, 3K, 5K, 10K, if you need over 1K, but that's it. Let's see, and listen. Before. And that's it. That's, other than that, you're just dealing with, you're really just going to be dealing with Pink, minus 4.5, brown, and then minus 7, and minus 7.5, and then maybe even 9. Like for like once you start to get in like, you know, 808s or something really deep, right? But you're going to be right in that range for your overall. The rest of it is easy. So, <clears throat> and also if you notice, you know, there's no, in working this way, um, so Preset again. In working this way, there's no need for Q because it's not necessary. We have broken this complicated curve into individual sections of perfect noise. And there's you can't make it sound bad because this section here is brown, and I can only go to minus 4.5 or minus 7.5. There, there's nothing in between. So it's always going to sound good. I'm always going to be the re our complicated curve as a whole is always going to be in balance each section of it with itself with noise we've broken noise into 15 pieces of perfect sound noise and we're just dealing with it that way against an overall okay so there's no need for Q. There's no need even boost or cut. What do I need to boost or cut? If I can see if something is over here, I go, oh, okay. Well, I just go to where it's it's now in balance. Oh, I'm over here. Okay, let me just move this down. You know, so I don't need I don't need a booster cut like one half a dB. What I don't need a readout. It's not necessary. Um, now that. In, uh, in traditional EQs, they are necessary. But in a hyper EQ, they're, they're not necessary. So anyways, that's the, the basic concept, the whole principle behind COS Pro hyper EQ. It, it started with the infinity principle, and it just is efficient as all get out when you're dealing with sound. So uh, I'll be doing a lot more videos. For right now, I'm going to get back to work. Happy mixing. It's uh, still early in the morning, but again, no other place I'd rather be. All right. Talk to you later.